Okay, I'm, I'm John Kirkham, yeah, I'm uh, 65. I was a teacher, retired about seven years ago, um, and I've surfed all my life really. Um, you know, I was uh, born about 1946 to be precise, which is a long time ago, isn't it? Um, and I had my first surfboard when it was 1966. Wow. And, uh, and believe it or not, my wife bought it for me and she's regretted it ever since. <laughs> she was rich and I was a student. Yeah, so I can remember right, right at the beginning of surfing at Newquay, you know, I knew all the, the people that introduced surfing to, um, to England, really, the, the first board builders and so on. I knew them all. Um, and I think I bought surfboards from most of them. When did surfing start in Cornwall? Um, well, that's questionable. It, it goes back to just after the after the Second World War. They reckon the first sort of wooden surfboards were built. I think it was an ice cream salesman uh, that lived in Newquay. Um, I can't remember his name now. Um, but it went from there. But the first glass fibre boards were probably... I had the first one in 66, so it must have been early 60s. Because I can remember as a boy we used to go down and watch you know, these strange guys on the surfboards, we used to go and watch them, we used to drive down, everybody sort of sat there and watched them. And a lot of them were Americans and Australians and South Africans that came over as lifeguards yeah. and brought their boards with them. Um, and then basically local guys um, started copying them, really. Um, so, so that's the sort of history of it, really. I had a great friend called Paul, and we were the only boys in the village, I think, that uh, used to hitchhike to Nuki to body surf. My mother used to be horrified seeing me go out in huge, huge surf. And uh, I'd be horrified I was in it now. But I've kept surfing all my life, really. I haven't stopped. And um, just basically trying to keep fit and uh, enjoy it. And I'm hooked for the rest of my life, I think. Yes. I've surfed all through my teaching life. I, I taught in Plymouth yeah. for the whole of my teaching career, 37 years, with pupils, taking pupils surfing. Um, and uh, I even had one phone me up, uh, oh, must, must have been a year ago, and moved back to uh, Plymouth and I used to take him surfing in the sixth form and uh, arranged to meet him in a pub and of course when I went to meet him he was uh, about 52, which was quite a shock really. <laughs> and I suddenly realised I'm 65, but um, mm. yeah, it was great and he'd come back and he wanted to know about where he could start surfing again and he's 52. Do you do anything to stay in shape for the surfing? Yeah, I do. I go to the gym a lot. I belong to a gym. I've been along for years. And I go, certainly in the winter, two or three times a week. I surf right through the winter. Um, I don't stop. I do yoga, a bit of yoga, um, swimming, that sort of thing. But really the gym is the way I keep yeah. in shape, really, I think. You need some strength, stamina work. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, a pretty demanding sport. If you're going to paddle out the back, you've you've got to be fit, you know, and, um, and you've got to be prepared for something going wrong. That's the other thing. So really upper body strength yeah. and um, and flexibility is yeah. crucial. I think I think things like yoga help. I've got friends of all ages that surf, you know, and, and we we always talk to each other. And age doesn't come into it. Um, when I was younger, I would compete almost in paddling out and in catching the first wave. I take my time. Um, I sit out and we have a chat, you know, uh, we have a talk. Um, somebody says, the wave coming, are you going to take it, John? I say, well, no, you go. And really, I'm exhausted, so I, I sit and have a rest, you know, and then I'll take the next wave. Um, there's always another wave. That's the nice thing with surfing. It is different, you know, as you get older. Sport is different, and you, you've got to realise that. that you, you're not, not as agile as you were, and you probably don't have as much stamina. But you've got to... Use your experience, that's the thing. Surf smart, and that's it. And, and as long as you do that, it's worth carrying on. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. I met an old lady down there the other day, and she was, I think she was 80, and she came up to ask me where she could get a custom-made wetsuit, because she goes surfing all the time <laughs> through the winter. And I thought it was just fantastic. You know, so you keep going. And that's what I'm gonna do. What sort of effect do you think that the fitness that you have for surfing has on the rest of your life? Yeah, well I can still get in my 32 jeans, so there we go, that, that's, the, yeah. that's the main effect it has on my life.